Let us now start discussing the equilibrium notions in uh, imperfect information extensive form games. So we have seen that in perfect information extensive form games, the equilibrium notions are pretty straightforward. We are looking at the subgame perfection, that is at every subgame of the game uh, of a, a PIEFG, you can find the Nash equilibrium and that uh, Nash equilibrium uh, which is guaranteed to exist uh, will be the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of the PIEFG. Now, uh, there are ways how you can extend the sim same idea for IIEFGs as well. Uh, the only trouble being uh, now the nodes or the histories of these games are uncertain because there are certain information sets which is not there in PIEFGs or they are uh, and they are singletons. So there is no uncertainty for any of the players which state of the game it is in. Uh, so. Uh, unlike the PIEFG in IIEFG will have to bring in a no notion called belief that means that what is the the, the probability distribution uh, for a player who is playing at that information set about the about the different nodes or different uh, states of that game in that information set so if we have let's say two different nodes in an information set how does that player who, who is playing at that information set uh, believes that uh, this is in this node versus that node and with what probability that actually determines uh, what will be the final equilibrium notion and in the equilibrium notion we will also see that uh, in addition to just the mixed strategy uh, that we did for uh, normal form games uh, there is also another uh, component which is known as the belief and this beliefs and the uh, and that uh, mixed strategy has to have some sort of a consistency Okay, so belief as we just said is a conditional probability distribution over the histories of an information set. So if you have multiple nodes which are nothing but histories, uh, the probability distribution over those histories in, in the information set is essentially the belief. Now uh, from, from now on we are just going to discuss only, only games with perfect recall and we know that in, in such kind of games behavioral strategies and mixed strategies are equivalent. So uh, uh, we are going to use them interchangeably. Sometimes we will also uh, use the same notation uh, to mean that it is mixed or behavioral. So let us first start with uh, this example. This is, uh, this is an example from the Mashler's book. So uh, what uh, does this show? So there are two players in this example. So player one uh, plays uh, at two different levels. So uh, first it plays here. So this uh, uh, the player one is playing here as well as playing at this third round. So it has three information sets uh, I1, uh, I11, I12 and I13. Similarly player uh, two has uh, one information set which is here. Um, and uh, it is playing in the second round. Uh, so uh, let us look at some behavioral strategy profile and that behavioral strategy profile is actually shown using the bold lines here. So player one in this information set is playing a mixed strategy which is uh, 5 by 12, uh, 4 by 12 and 3 by 12. With that it is playing this uh, capital L, capital M and capital R respectively. Uh, so in the second round uh, when it is uh, player 2's turn to play it is uh, it is playing uh, the action L even though it has this action M and R and in the third round um, in the third round player 1 comes again and it, it plays R1 here uh, in this uh, uh, second information set and L2 in the third information set. So that is the uh, that is the uh, behavioral strategy profile uh, of these two players. Now uh, we are going to ask whether this is an equilibrium, and by equilibrium we are using the same Nash notion. Uh, so if uh, uh, the other player is playing uh, the strategy that it is playing according to this strategy profile, is it beneficial for uh, this uh, this current agent to deviate from it? Uh, or the strategy that it has picked in this strategy profile is the optimal one. So how should we uh, talk about uh, what is the rationality here? 
so rationality as we said depends on what is the uh, um, uh, what is the belief so let us focus on this uh, information set let's say i13 if the uh, so um, if the probability distribution or the belief of uh, player 1 who is playing at this round um, is let's say p uh, that it uh, with p it believes that it is in s6 and with 1 minus p it uh, thinks that it is uh, in uh, in x7 then based on that uh, because then what what is going to happen is that you can do this uh, small calculation that if it plays l2 it has this uh, expected utility which is two times uh, p because that is the that is the utility it gets if it is playing l2 plus it has uh, the probability of uh, zero uh, the utility of zero uh, at one minus p if it believes uh, believes it is in here which happens with probability one by uh, one minus p and if it plays l2 then it gets an utility of zero and uh, if it plays r2 the expected utility is uh, going to be 0 times p that is this number here and uh, it will be 5 times 1 minus p. Now if you compare these two things uh, you can clearly see this observation that if, uh, uh, if the belief was uh, in favor of uh, was larger than 2 by 7 in favor of x7 so if uh, this uh, uh, this player thought its belief was such that this 1 minus p is larger than 2 by 7 which means that uh, uh, this p is uh, at most 5 by 7 uh, in that case it, it would have chosen r2 so that's the uh, so you just in, uh, solve that inequality you will find it so this is what we are going to call as sequential rationality uh, so uh, given the belief it is going to take the decision which is rational according to it and based on this kind of a rationality notion we are going to evaluate whether the the strategy profile that we have just uh, given uh, that behavioral strategy profile is indeed an equilibrium or not okay so let's uh, let's go back to the figure it's easier to uh, explain it that way so now we know that uh, if the belief was uh, uh, less than 5 by 7 um, uh, so in favor of uh, this so what can player one think in this case so it knows that if uh, uh, if it is uh, if it is l then its belief is going to be equal to uh, one so uh, for x6 belief of player one will be uh, equal to one and x7 will be equal to zero so in that case it knows for sure that it is it is going to uh, be in this state and it can it can choose l2 because l2 is going to give them give uh, give it a higher utility than choosing r2 so this l2 no, uh, action at this point so which is a uh, which is the behavioral strategy which happens to be a uh, pure strategy in this case is definitely uh, uh, a better option now uh, what about this information set by the choice of player 2 which is l uh, the conditional probability here is undefined because the the probability of reaching this uh, uh, information set is itself zero so therefore I, we cannot really calculate any uh, um, any conditional probability on it so therefore uh, r1 is sort of vacuously rational uh, so uh, there is no harm for this player to play r1 because uh, this uh, node will never be reached now let us go go above one stage so if player one so let's say uh, player one uh, was after uh, player one's first stage of play uh, we are in this information set uh, of uh, player two and player two's belief could be something like again you can put some numbers let's say q and one minus q uh, that denotes what is the probability at these two uh, different nodes different histories in the same information set now uh, it knows that if it plays l uh, so if it uh, if it plays l it is going to get uh, an utility of one here and in this case it is going to get a utility of two here now um, 
you can you can actually calculate what is the utility that it gets given that the player one is still holding on to the same strategy so it is playing l2 uh, in in this information in the third information set and is playing r1 in the second information set uh, you calculate what is the uh, what is the uh, utility that you will get if you play m uh, uh, which turns out to be zero in this case and if it plays m here then it will also get minus one so certainly this is better than that and similarly if you play r uh, and this player plays r here then it gets zero uh, similarly if it gets uh, plays r uh, then it is going to get an utility of two right now uh, the the question now becomes uh, based on uh, what kind of so uh, uh, it will play l or r based on what is the uh, the belief uh, in this in this uh, in this node so if it believes that it is uh, uh, the uh, the probability of q uh, probability q is much larger than 1 minus q then possibly it will go with 1 because uh, playing l uh, at this node is a is a better strategy uh, otherwise uh, in this case it is like uh, it is the it is getting the same utility here so it is uh, sort of weakly dominating uh, that that strategy so um, we can we can see we can do the the calculation so here the if the uh, if player one is using this uh, strategy uh, uh, this mixed strategy in the first round then what what is going to happen is you can find this q that is the the belief of this player you can find that to be five by nine and this uh, belief here will be four by nine so clearly you can you can see the expected utility of uh, playing l um, under this situation is uh, strictly better than uh, playing r under this belief system so that is essentially the calculation that we have uh, we have seen so um, uh, so you can take a look at this so this essentially uh, based on the same utility, the, the same strategy profile, uh, we have actually derived the, the probability of reaching every node and uh, the, the, the conditional probability of reaching a specific node uh, on, uh, when it is at a specific uh, information set is nothing but uh, the, 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 uh, the total probability of reaching that uh, information set. Uh, as denominator and in the numerator you have the uh, the probability of reaching that particular node so that is the the belief so essentially that is the numbers four four by nine and five by nine that we have cal calculated uh, so um, if it has to be sequentially rational then you will have to see that the uh, the utility the expected utility uh, when it is playing uh, that strategy so uh, by picking that strategy l that we have just discussed you'll see that uh, the expected utility is going to be 13 by 9 and this is uh, this is going to be larger than any other choice of action if you pick m or pick uh, r you can take a uh, do the same calculation and try to find out what is the uh, what is the expected utility and that is going to be smaller than this number so therefore uh, under this belief system so where uh, player one has already picked this uh, uh, um, uh, behavioral strategy in the first round it is uh, appropriate for player two to stick on to this uh, uh, strategy l because that is going to give it the highest expected utility now if you look at uh, the uh, the first stage so we are going uh, in a in a backward manner so we are uh, if you look at the strategy of player one whether it has done the right thing or not you can see that the expected utility so given that uh, player two has chosen l and at the third round player one has chosen what it has chosen so uh, it gives uh, uh, player one an utility of two um, uh, in uh, if uh, if it is in uh, this state of the game and uh, at x3 it is going to get an utility of 2 again and again at uh, at r it is also going to get uh, this utility of 2 so all the utilities are actually equal so it makes sense to give positive uh, uh, positive probability masses in all of these actions and uh, therefore these numbers are meaningful so just uh, compare this with the the, the notion of uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium we have uh, said that if the utility 
if you if it has to happen uh, if the uh, strategy the equilibrium strategy has a support uh, where it is putting positive probability masses then it better be the case that the expected utility when other players are putting their strategies uh, according to that equilibrium uh, it has to be equal and in this case the you can even further uh, divide it uh, at a specific uh, stage that is in this stage of that behavioral strategy because behavioral strategies are defined uh, at every information set you can also hold the uh, the strategy of the same player uh, in the other information sets to be fixed that is exactly what we have done so for that the same player uh, at uh, i i12 and i13 we have uh, uh, held fixed and um, uh, for the for player 2 if it plays uh, this strategy of l uh, one can see that uh, uh, under all these strategies of l m and r uh, the expected utility is going to be the same and that is why you can put positive problem they all can live in the support of this uh, behavioral strategy fair enough so that is uh, that is the that is one way of uh, showing that this particular strategy profile is a uh, is an equilibrium point uh, however there could be more equilibrium equilibrium point and in particular you can actually take a uh, take a look at the same graph and try to find out if there exists some other kind of equilibrium. Um, so let me give you one small exercise. You can see whether M uh, by the by player one, uh, so M comma uh, M R two. So that is that is one strategy. So this is a pure strategy. So it is playing M in the first round, uh, uh, R three in the in the last round. Uh, so in fact, you can you can even write uh, write that. Up. So instead of M R R two, so because there are three information sets, we should write M R one R two, comma the the second player is just choosing M because it is it has only one information set. Do you see if uh, if this is an equilibrium or not? This is uh, this one here M R one R two comma M. So let let us just uh, define for for the completeness. We already have seen uh, all of these uh, notions in in practice. In that example, uh, let us just uh, formally define so that we can uh, also define the equilibrium notion uh, in the IIEFG. So the first uh, definition is that of belief. So uh, belief is nothing but uh, 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 what we have defined. It is defined for a specific information set of a player. So let's say. Uh, for player i in the information set j uh, it's a probability distribution over all the histories in that information set so that uh, uh, mu i j is uh, something that we are going to call the belief now this belief uh, it becomes a bayesian belief and uh, now we are bringing in uh, another uh, uh, probability distribution which is the mixed strategy or the behavioral strategy in this case so we are going to call a belief which is the same as before a belief uh, which puts some probability masses at each information set for a player uh, this is going to be bayesian with respect to the behavioral strategy sigma if it is derived from that sigma using bayes rule what does that mean uh, this is something that we have uh, used to find out what is the uh, belief of that player at a specific information set so we are just looking at this uh, at that information set summing over the probabilities of all the nodes uh, under that sigma that is uh, what is the so uh, what is p sigma y this is the probability that uh, uh, that the game reaches uh, node y under this uh, behavioral strategy profile sigma so player one is choosing some uh, some strategy of picking some action at every information set player 2 is similarly choosing something else and based on that you reach a specific node which is y uh, so uh, you sum over all such nodes probabilities probability of uh, reaching all the nodes in an information set therefore uh, uh, this denominator becomes the, the total probability of reaching a specific information set now that you uh, uh, you are in that information set what is the probability uh, you will be in in one of those nodes which is x in that uh, uh, in the same information set of player i 
so which means that this is the the belief uh, you are essentially already conditional on the fact that you are in this information set iij uh, what is the probability that you will be in that node x in that information set that is going to be given by this uh, belief and uh, because it is consistent with that sigma using this uh, bayes rule we are going to call this belief as a uh, bayesian belief so now the notion of sequential rationality is very similar to the uh, uh, to the uh, notion of uh, nash equilibrium the only difference being that now we are also expecting over the uh, the node being in that information set so you can see that this notation uh, utility of agent i uh, when it is playing sigma i prime and other players are playing sigma minus i condition on the fact that you are in that node x and what does this utility mean because you are in a uh, in a in a tree here so in a tree like structure so let's say uh, we have a we have one uh, uh, we have a, a bunch of nodes in a specific information set let's say this is the information set and there are uh, uh, corresponding subtrees below it now uh, once you are in that node let's say x all that matters the utility that you are looking at is um, is conditioned on that x that is you are only looking at this particular subtree which is the subtree of x what is the utility that you are going to get uh, when you are restricting this graph uh, at this node x uh, under this uh, behavioral strategy profile mu i prime and mu minus i so that is going to be defined as uh, ui and then you take the uh, expected sum because you are going to look at uh, you do not uh, uh, definitely know as agent i you do not really know exactly which node you are in so you uh, you might be in x but you might be in some other um, nodes in the same information set so you are looking at the expected utility uh, uh, of uh, expected utility at that information set and what it is uh, what sequential rationality is saying is that this sigma i sigma minus i is going to be sequentially rational uh, if uh, everybody else is uh, uh, still committing to the sigma minus i and a uh, player i does not benefit by deviating to any other sigma i prime so this is very similar to the Nash equilibrium, but now uh, you are uh, looking at the uh, uh, the information sets in an IIEFG. So that is the only difference that we have. So now we have actually uh, a combination of uh, two things. One is the behavioral strategy, which is given by uh, uh, sigma, and the co uh, the corresponding Bayesian belief, which is mu. Now this uh, tuple of uh, uh, sigma comma mu we are going to call that to be sequentially rational uh, if um, uh, if it is sequentially rational for every player at every information set so we will uh, sometimes also refer to this uh, uh, to this tuple as an assessment uh, i mean this is just a just a terminology so uh, as you can see, I mean, it's a refinement, this uh, a notion of uh, sequential rationality is a refinement of uh, Nash equilibrium. Uh, so the notion essentially coincides of, uh, with uh, subgame perfect Nash equilibrium when you apply the ideas to PIEFG. So the, uh, the, and that is not very surprising because in PIEFG, uh, your Bayesian belief is like a singleton. I mean, it's a, it's a degenerate distribution because all the, um, uh, information sets there are uh, singletons. So the theorem says that in a PIEFG, a behavioral strategy profile uh, sigma e is an SPNE if and only if that tuple uh, mu sigma hat is sequentially rational, uh, sigma mu hat. So sig mu hat is that uh, Bayesian belief which has to be a degenerate distribution. So with all these uh, uh, definitions, now we are uh, in a position to define the, the equilibrium notion, which is a perfect Bayesian equilibrium notion. And that uh, very naturally is dependent on this tuple itself, the assessment, uh, sigma and mu. This is going to be a perf perfect Bayesian equilibrium. If for every player i in n, two conditions hold. The first thing is that this mu i is a Bayesian belief with respect to the sigma. 
and then the second one is uh, this uh, sigma i is sequentially rational given sigma minus i and mu i so the sequential rationality we have just seen the definition it is very similar to the nash equilibrium and um, uh, the the mu y that you are deriving is essentially coming from the same behavioral strategy which is sigma so if these two conditions hold then we are going to call that a bayesian perfect bayesian equilibrium so uh, this is often sometimes only represented with sigma uh, but you can always uh, remember that there, there exists a underlying mu which is bayesian uh, with respect to that sigma um, so it, it is something like uh, it is very similar to SPNE, self-enforcing, but in a Bayesian way because now we do not know perfectly, mm, uh, the players do not know exactly which state they are in, therefore they will have to use this sort of a uh, belief system and uh, also there should be some sort of a consistency, so therefore it has to be, this mu y has to be Bayesian with respect to that sigma. So once that happens, we, we have an equilibrium notion and that is the equilibrium notion in uh, imperfect information extensive form games.